Hey there, science explorers. Welcome to Kids Science Corner, where learning is always fun. Today, we're going to explore the amazing movements of our planet Earth. We're talking about rotation and revolution. Ready to spin and orbit? Let's get started. Earth moves in two main ways, rotation and revolution. These movements are super important because they create day and night and the seasons we enjoy throughout the year. Let's take a closer look at each one. First, let's talk about rotation. Earth's rotation is when it spins around its own axis, like a top. This imaginary line goes through the North Pole and the South Pole. It takes Earth about 24 hours to complete one full spin. That's what gives us day and night. When your part of the Earth faces the Sun, it's daytime. And when your part of the Earth is turned away from the Sun, it's nighttime. Pretty cool, right? Imagine you're on a merry-go-round. As it spins, sometimes you're facing the bright lights, day, and other times you're facing away into the dark, night. That's how Earth's rotation works. Let's dive deeper into the effects of Earth's rotation. Remember how rotation gives us day and night? Well, it also affects the direction we see the sun rise and set. Because Earth rotates from west to east, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. Another cool effect of rotation is the Coriolis effect. This makes the winds and ocean currents curve, which affects our weather and climate. So, Earth's rotation helps keep our atmosphere in motion. Now, let's talk about revolution. Revolution is when Earth orbits or goes around the sun. It takes about 365 days or one year for Earth to make one complete trip around the sun. This path that Earth follows is called its orbit. Earth's orbit is not a perfect circle. It's more like an oval shape, called an ellipse. As Earth travels along this path, we experience different seasons. Now, let's explore the effects of Earth's revolution. As Earth orbits the Sun, the tilt of its axis causes different parts of the Earth to get different amounts of sunlight throughout the year. This tilt is why we have seasons. When the North Pole is tilted towards the Sun, it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Six months later, when the South Pole is tilted towards the Sun, it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere and winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Isn't that amazing? Let's break it down with an example. Think about how in summer, the days are longer and warmer because we get more direct sunlight. In winter, the days are shorter and cooler because we get less direct sunlight. Spring and autumn are in between, with more balanced day and night lengths. Now, it's time for a fun activity. Let's create a simple model to show Earth's rotation and revolution. You'll need a globe or a ball, a flashlight, and a piece of paper. Place the flashlight in the center to represent the sun. Then, slowly spin the globe or ball to show rotation. Move the globe or ball around the flashlight to show revolution. Notice how the light from the flashlight changes on the globe or ball, just like how sunlight changes on Earth. Let's recap what we learned today. Earth's rotation gives us day and night and affects the direction of winds and currents. Earth's revolution, combined with its tilt, gives us the seasons. Together, these movements make life on Earth so dynamic and interesting. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Earth's amazing movements, explorers. Remember, there's always something new to learn about our incredible planet. Thanks for joining Kids Science Corner on this magnificent adventure. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe our channel for more fun learning.